Hello, I'm Peter Vaughan and today I'm at the Caravan Salon in Dusseldorf. Not only Europe's biggest caravan and motorhome show, but possibly the biggest caravan and motorhome show in the world. We've only got two or three hours to whiz round and show you some of the highlights, some of the things that have caught our eye over the last couple of days. One of the big stories this year is that nobody can get any Fiat Ducatos. So the whole industry is looking at different chassis. As you walk around the show, you'll see Mercedes, Ford in much, much bigger numbers. And Bursner are also doing Renaults. This little Renault traffic will be a rival to many of the Volkswagen transporter-based camper vans on the market in the UK. And it's a brand new sector for a company like Bursner. Inside, it's the classic side kitchen layout with a sliding seat system by Schneerler, pop top with a big open canvas at the front from SCA. But it's got some really nice design features too, like this sliding door in the kitchen and the biggest cutlery drawer you've ever seen. We first saw Bursner's Lysio Gallery as a concept just over a year ago. Now, the company has probably launched new, more new product here than just about anybody else. And look at this. This is the actual production version of the Lysio Gallery. Based on the very, very popular and successful Lysio TD Harmony line, but with this fantastic new roof concept. When that roof is down, it doesn't look much different to a normal low profile. But look at how much extra headroom you get for that upstairs bedroom when it's up. There'll be two layouts in the Lysio Gallery range, one with a rear lounge, the 644, and this 689, which is our preferred model. It's got a rear bathroom, this central kitchen area, and a nice front lounge. But this is the bit that's really different. You've actually got a staircase to go up to bed, and what a great bedroom it is up here, with more than a metre of headroom. You've got windows on either side, great big roof light above. It's a fantastic bedroom, not like an over cab of old. And all of this new mechanism has been fully tested in all weather conditions. If anybody wants to sponsor me to go on a grand European tour, I'll have one of these to go in, please. About 150 grand's worth of Leica Krios 5009, their new flagship model. I think this has to be one of the best low profile motorhomes you can buy because it's full of Italian style. Just look at it. You can see that Leica didn't use just ordinary caravan and motorhome designers. They've got professional automotive designers in to, to style this outside and in. The same designers as have designed some Lamborghinis and all sorts of other well-known cars. You can have a dishwasher in the kitchen, one that only uses eight litres of water each time. And, well, just everywhere you look, it's lovely. How about these blue highlights, which just look so different from the usual beiges and creams? I really like this motorhome. The show has 17 halls, so we're going to have to push on a bit. But no visit to Dusseldorf would be complete without a visit to Hall 5, the premium hall, which is where you need to go if 150 grand for a Leica is just not enough to spend. You've got far more than that burning a hole in your pocket. And sometimes four-wheel drive just isn't enough. You need six-wheel drive. This action mobile could be yours for just over 1.1 million euros. For that, you've got 9.9 .9 metres long, man chassis with 630 horsepower. Well, I don't think you're going to get stuck in a rally field in this one. Maybe you don't want to go off-roading with your mega motorhome, in which case Morello's biggest ever this grand empire on a 26-tonne Mercedes Actros might be the thing for you if you've got the odd 867,000 euros to spare. Well, you get plenty of motorhome for that, including 
four 340 amp hour lithium batteries and a 560 litre fresh water tank. Should allow you to off grid for more than a couple of days, I think. Of course, your 12 metre motorhome might not fit terribly well in Waitrose car park, so of course, you've got a Mini Cooper S that just goes in the garage. Now, of course, in a motorhome like this, the bedroom is pretty impressive, but to me, the washroom area is more impressive still. The bathroom in my hotel wasn't this big. And then coming forward, well, there's no gas in this motorhome, it's all electric, so induction hob, electric oven, an enormous domestic style fridge with a proper freezer below. But my favourite bit is at the front. You'd expect leather for 860 odd thousand euros, wouldn't you? But I've seen a few luxury motorhomes in my time. But this one, for lounging comfort, I think just takes the biscuit. Maybe a Mini is, well, just too ordinary to go shopping. So you could have this Vario mobile with an AMG Mercedes V8 by turbo in the rear garage. Or how about a Concorde liner with this beautiful Porsche 911 Targa from the 1970s? Mm, I think that's better. But the one you really want is this Faulkner mobile Performance S. 12 metres of motorhome for 2 million euros but that doesn't include the LaFerrari, which is a further 3.3 million euros. Mm. Where's that lottery ticket? One of the most interesting novelties at the show is from Knaus. This Volkswagen Transporter based CU Vision is, well, it's a whole new type of motorhome, isn't it? It's a sort of low profile with a pop top. It's compact. Perhaps this will appeal to people with a California that want just a bit more space, an onboard shower and toilet, that sort of thing, but don't want to drive a conventional motorhome. Or maybe it'll just appeal to Volkswagen fans, fans of the bully that want something a bit different, something that really will stand out on the campsite. So this is a, a weird mix of sort of camper van and motorhome. You've got a double bed over the front in the pop top, You've got a reasonable kitchen, a sort of coach builty style half donette lounge. But what you don't normally get in a VW camper van is a proper walk in washroom with a cassette toilet. What you certainly don't get is a fixed double bed at the back, which has got a neat little fold, fold down step so that you can just jump in. But this CU Vision doesn't end there with its innovation. Remove part of the bed, just one cushion. And now what was part of your bedroom is a walk-in shower cubicle. If you're not sure about the pop top, Knaus will also be offering this low profile on the transporter. Two layouts, sub six metres long. Makes a nice change from Fiat Ducatos and Ford Transits, doesn't it? Can't wait to have it go in one of these. There are loads more Mercedes-based motorhomes at this year's show, but only this Weinsberg Pepper edition looks really cross to be here. So there's some pretty impressive motorhomes here, but there's only one star of the show, and it has to be this Heimer's Venture S. Came here three years ago as a concept. Nobody, I think, really believed they were going to make it, but they have, and you can have one starting from 220,000 euros on a four-wheel drive Mercedes chassis. Now, to start with, it might seem like a, well, reasonably conventional rear lounge motorhome. Though this rear lounge is very comfortable, and you have these wraparound windows in glass at the back. But how about this? You've got a sun deck as well. I think this takes 350 kilos. So I haven't, eaten, haven't drunk that much German beer while I've been here, so I think I should be okay on there. The table actually slides out. So no faffing around looking for a table in a cupboard. It simply slides out, pulls up. 
and then you've got flaps on either side. How clever is that? And then sitting here on a gorgeous sunny day with all that view out of the back. So in daytime mode, you've got a lovely wide aisle through the vehicle, so it feels really spacious. And remember, this is just a luxury two-berth motorhome. I do like these little leather tags on the cupboards too. But the washroom also expands. Just release a catch and pull. You've still got plenty of room to get through, and now you've got a really generous washroom. And not only that, but swing a wall, and it's a really good sized shower cubicle. But this isn't a motorhome for people that live in bungalows because you actually go upstairs to bed. And this is a much bigger bedroom than we saw in Burstner's Lysio Gallery. Look at this for a bedroom. And again, like in the Lysio Gallery, this inflatable roof is fully tested in high winds, in all weather conditions, snow on the roof. Wow. Here's a new brand of camper van that's coming to the UK. Called Yukon, they're part of the Pilot Group. In fact, effectively, they're the van conversions or camper vans from Frankia. You know, Fiat-based models or Mercedes, Mercedes in six metres and seven metres, two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, without a pop-top, with a pop-top. There's plenty of choice, but traditionally, continental-style layouts with fixed single or double beds. Motorhome companies like to celebrate anniversaries, but not many will ever surely get the chance to celebrate a hundred years. And that's what Nota is celebrating at the show this year. French firm, of course, building on a Renault. This one isn't quite a hundred years old, but it is over 50 from 1951. Things have changed a little bit since then. Don't often see a lantern roof these days, or these lovely wooden slats that come down on the outside of the windows. The cab spec does look a little basic though. Can't see any airbags in there. This was a surprise launch at the show because we've already attended Rapido Group's summer press preview, but we didn't know that they were gonna launch an A-class version of the C-series. Only two layouts, one with single beds, one with an island bed. This is the single bed model, 6.7 meters long, 2.17 metres wide, and of course, being that compact A-Class, it's a realistic three and a half tonne motorhome. This is a brand that I'm sure you're gonna hear a lot more about in the UK, Cargo Clips. Everything in this MAN van is totally modular and everything is removable, hence these holes in the wooden panels that are the structure effectively of the camper van. These panels go in and then everything attaches to those. All fully crash tested, all beautifully made, all based on a very sustainable platform. So everything is very environmentally friendly. Lots and lots of choice, different kitchen units, washroom units, removable travel seats. And just look at the bedroom on the top of this. That's no ordinary pop top. Fully insulated, fully solid sided and a great bed up there. I nearly walked past this without noticing because I just thought, well, it's another Volkswagen camper. But this isn't just another Volkswagen camper. It's a T7, the multivan. Quite a different vehicle to the T6.1. More of a car, more of a people carrier. But Rymo have turned it into a camper, well, a, a basic camper, basically a double bed and a little kitchen unit that includes a fridge and so on. But the key thing is that you can now get a pop top for this T7 from Rymo. The scale of this show is enormous, but you'll always see things that you perhaps wouldn't see anywhere else, like the caravan that thinks it's a boat, or is it a boat that thinks it's a caravan? Not quite sure. Or would you prefer this park home that thinks it's a tent? But of course, if you've run out of space in your camper van, you could always tow a garden shed that thinks it's a church, that thinks it's a caravan that, well, I don't know. Now, you might think you've seen it all in VW campers, but so many of them are so much the same with just a kitchen down one side 
and a bench seat that makes a bed. This Good Life Vans conversion is a module that goes into any T6 and it starts at 12,000 euros so you can convert your van without spending a fortune. Fridge at the end, kitchen down here, but what's really clever is that it makes a superb double bed. Two metres by 1.6 metres. Challenge you to find a T6 with a bigger bed than that. You see a lot more four-wheel drive motorhomes here and a lot more dismountables. So this Tisha body is fully removable from the Jeep truck. But I think this is the only dismountable here or the only motorhome that's based on a Jeep, a Jeep Gladiator. You'll want 51,000 euros for the body, another 81,000 euros for the Jeep. If you've ever had a motorhome that's leaked, this might appeal. It's from Turkey, it's called the Hotomobile. It's based on a transporter double cab. So you've got four individual travel seats, all Volkswagen seats in the cab. Four doors too. But the key thing, it's got a 20 year water ingress warranty. It's got a rear lounge too. So plenty of appeal for UK customers if this Turkish van ever comes to Britain. Adria has already added Mercedes to its portfolio with the Coral, the Matrix, low profiles and the supersonic A-Class. And now there's this design study for a van conversion based on the MAN TGE, my favourite base vehicle of them all. Let's hope this comes to the UK as a production vehicle before too long. Hobby have got the ID Buzz here, apparently the first time it's been seen in public at any show. It's with their little beachy air caravan. How long before we see a camper van based on this latest fully electric retro look VW? So those were my highlights of the 2022 Caravan Salon. I thoroughly recommend a visit next year if you've never been, especially as there's camping in your motorhome available on site. The old town of Dusseldorf is well worth the trip in the evenings too. Thanks for watching and hope you've enjoyed our latest motorhome video.